Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. We are starting today 6.4 Easy Path for Completion. Thank you for an amazing response on 6.1, 2 and 3. And if you're looking for infographic guides for them, you can check the description of this video and you can download the high quality versions of them. Before we go into the video guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, leave a like, leave a comment, all of that really helps me out a lot. Now 6.4.1, there are three different paths that you can run. The first one is a biohazard with tunnel vision and nano plague. So you cannot use robot champion ears. You can only use champions that are bleed immune or bleed and poison immune that are non-robotic. Next path is going to be a power shield plus bane and limber. You can use only special, you can use different champions, but try to use champions that have high burst damage and with special attacks. And another path is Vigorous Assault, plus Sharing is Caring, so whenever any Defender gets any region buff, they get unstoppable. So, these are the different paths that you can use, so, and the end of every lane there is going to be a mini boss, so in case of the Biohazard there is going to be a Green Goblin, in case of the Power Shield there is going to be a Morning Star, and finally in case of Vigorous Solder is going to be an X23. They have different nodes from the other parts, so I mentioned them separately to make sure to bring a champion for them. And then the boss is going to be an Iceman who's going to have stun immunity, Metador, and enhanced special attacks, Spe uh, energy attacks. Now, depending on what champions you have, you can choose a path. I'm going to choose path number one because I have all four of those champions. So, see you during the fights, guys. So the first fight is going to be against an OG Thor. He's a metal champion and you can also get a Corvus charge from him. I could have used Red Magneto but I went, just went with Colossus with Omega Red Synergy. So Omega Red Synergy gives 2% damage for each Armora buff on Colossus that really buffs off Colossus. What you can also do is you can use a 200% Mutant Boost plus a 12% Special Boost if you really want to finish the fights faster because Colossus really really does great with those boosts on him. He gains back a lot of power and you can just fire two L2s in a row. Apart from that, if you take Corvus here, this is going to be a slow fight. You will have to fill up your you will have to wait for your glaive charges at least two times before you can kill him off. Or the third way is you can just bring a red magneto and get those prowess charges to 40 and then throw an L3 and he will die really really quickly. Now next fight is going to be against the Spider-Man Stultude. So he is a metal champion and also he has evade. So you can either bring in the covers and get that second charge after you take the first charge from the from Thor OG. Or you can bring in Colossus also and just parry and heavy him to death. I am just gonna bring in Magneto because Spider-Man Stultude is a metal champion. So all I'm going to do is to keep knocking him down with my heavy and build up an L3 and then with 40 prowess charges I'm gonna just drop an LT and he will die very very quickly. I hope you guys are enjoying the video make sure to subscribe to the channel guys I have a lot of guides from 6.1, 6.2, 6.3 and 6.4 as well once we complete the 6.4 series we're gonna go back and do the exploration pass the hard pass from 6.3 and 4 as well also, if you're looking for infographic guides, I have them and I've shared them with the community. They are, the links are in the description down below. Make sure to check them out, please.
And then you have another quick fight in form of Rocket Raccoon. Now Rocket Raccoon is nothing too difficult. The only thing you need to take care about is his L1. Sometimes if you finish a 5 hit combo, he goes directly into his L1 and he might clip you with the 2 hits and with criticals he will give you a lot of damage. So the easier way is to just do 4 hits and swipe back and wait for him to come in. And then you can easily evade his L1. The only thing you need to care about is the falter from the tunnel vision and apart from that it's a pretty quick and straightforward fight guys. Next fight is against a vulture. So again, he is a metal champion. So you can, I'm gonna bring in Red Magneto. You can also take him out with the cover. So depending what kind of team you're running, you did, he is also your champion and he is a ramp up champion for the upcoming mini boss and the final boss. Again, just keep him to L1. Don't push him to L2. Sometimes L2 is annoying and it's hard to wait. But once you have that down, you can easily kill him off and with magneto i'm just gonna build up the power charges use an l3 and he will just die
the Hulk. Now this is not a really difficult fight. The only thing is that you don't want to get hit by him at any point because his power rating is around 50,000 and with, as soon as he gets down to half a health he hits, starts hitting really hard and you might also get a lot of block damage. Now I have a Colossus, I'm going to use him who is also pretty tanky so it's going to even it out. But if you're using a champion that takes a lot of block damage so this becomes a little annoying fight. Now this is also a good fight for a Corvus charge so if you have your Avengers charge from OG Thor you can bring this um, uh, Hulk down really fast. You can use a Corvus with a 200 boost and a 12% or an 8% special attack boost and he can die really really quickly with L2 cycling. So it's entirely your choice how you want to do it. This fight I've played really sloppy. I wasn't paying attention to the tunnel vision. So whenever you have a falter on you, make sure that you parry. Use a medium or a, uh, medium or a light attack and move back. Once you have the falter uh, purified, then you can go in again and hit hit Hulk. That's the few things you need to take care about. Once you have that down, you can easily bring him down and it's a pretty simple and straightforward fight. So the final fight on this path before the mini boss is going to be uh, Mysterio. Now with Mysterio he's a metal champion and he's also a tech champion so you can bring in a Corvus as well. I'm going to use a red magneto and I'm going to try and build up to an L3 but one thing you need to be careful about with his L1 he has a time in which he reflects all the damage and also with his L2 he will power lock you and drain your power. So it's a strictly stroke for what you want to bait him out. I usually like baiting L1s and I'm going to then try to wait for his timer for damage reflection to expire before I start hitting him again. So the whole thing is to build to up to an L3 and with 40 prowess charges as ready rip and let him die with bleeds. Another thing to note with Mysterio that periodically he will get charges on him gas charges on him and if he gets three charges and the timer runs out again he will give you a poison debuff now the way to go around it is either you bring a poison immune champion if you don't have a poison immune champion then make sure that you bait out the specials before he gets the three charges in that way all the charges dispel and then he starts again from one so it like this you can stop him from poisoning you as well And the mini boss is going to be a green goblin. Now he will have tyranny node on him and he will also have unblockable finale below 25% of health. So with tyranny node you can only bring in villains that's why the alternate champion options are really really less. But you can bring anybody he is not going to be biohazard or so you can bring in any villains champions that you can. There's also an option of ghost because she is also useful against the boss. So it's your choice who you're going to bring. I'm going to bring a Magneto because he is a metal champion and Magneto can easily bypass the last 25% as well. 
So, just build up again to your 40 power charges. Just avoid these L1s and L2s. And once you have it, just let it rip. And firstly, the bleed will damage him a lot. And once the bleed finishes, at the end of the bleed of L3, there's going to be shrapnel damage that will also take you through the 25% of unblockable. You will notice in this fight that I forgot that there's an unblockable finale, so I do take a quite a few hits, but that's okay. I'm not going to use him in the final boss fight, so yeah. Now the boss fight will be against an Iceman who has Matador node and also has enhanced energy damage so you need to be not get cold snap from his L1 and also is going to be a stun immune. He's a pretty straightforward and simple boss you can pretty much bring in any cold snap immune champion and you can kill him off. All the alternate champions I mentioned you can use them. I prefer I would personally say that it would be amazing to use a ghost because you can easily wait L1s even if you make a mistake you can you can she can phase out the rest of the L1 if you don't have her then you can go with a Corvus just pop in a 200% cosmic boost and you can just cycle L2s with him another great option would be a Colossus again with an omega red synergy so he will kill him off also very quickly so he's one of the easier bosses of 6.4.1 nothing too difficult about him and yeah that's about it guys i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and you find the tips useful and they help you get the first part of 6.4.1 stay tuned we'll be doing the other parts as well right up to the grandmaster so our series for easy completion of x6 will finish Make sure to check out the description. I have infographic guides on all of these chapters. I'm just working on 6.4 as well. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications. All of that really helps me out a lot. Like the video. And apart from that guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you next time.